Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to our service of Holy Communion this morning. We're going to begin today by blessing the lovely crib that you can see below me here. God our Father, on this day your Son Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring who is alive and reigns forever. Amen. And so we turn to our service leaflet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace be with you, and keep you in the love of Christ. Heavenly Father, all hearts are open to you, no secrets are hidden from you. Purify us with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as it's Christmas Day, we can start to sing the Gloria again, so shall we sing it together? Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, Gloria, Gloria, Alleluia, Alleluia, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, Gloria, Gloria, Alleluia, Alleluia. And now we'll hear the collect and the gospel for Christmas Day. Almighty God, who has given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, rejoicing in the coming of thy living and eternal word, may daily be renewed in your Holy Spirit, through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the same Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Shall we affirm our faith together? I believe and trust in God the Father, who created all that is. I believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God,
Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so let us pray. Let us pray to Jesus our Saviour. Christ, born in a stable, give courage to all who are homeless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, for whom the angels sang, give the song of the kingdom to all who weep. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth to all who are oppressed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who govern. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, whose radiance filled a lowly manger, give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, Saviour, Child of Mary, you know us and love us. You share our lives and hear our prayer. Glory to you forever. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we come to the peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Shall we exchange with one another now a wave of peace? Peace, everybody. Peace and Merry Christmas. We celebrate together the gifts and grace of God. We take this bread, we take this wine to follow Christ's example and obey his command. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks, Holy Father, all powerful and ever living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who by his death has destroyed death and by his rising to life again has restored to us eternal life. And so, with the hosts of angels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim the glory of your name and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All praise and thanks to you, true and living God, creator of all things, giver of life. You formed us in your own image, but we have marred that image and fall short of your glory. We give you thanks that you sent your Son to share our life. You gave him up to death that the world might be saved, and you raised him from the dead that we might live in him and he in us. Sanctify with your Spirit this bread and wine your gifts to us, that they may be for us the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come in glory. <clears throat> As he has commanded us, Father, we remember Jesus Christ, your Son, proclaiming his victorious death, rejoicing in his resurrection, and waiting for him to come in glory, we bring to you this bread, this cup. Accept our sacrifice of thanks and praise, restore and revive your people, Renew us and all for whom we pray with your grace and heavenly blessing, and at the last receive us with all your saints into that unending joy promised by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through
through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only say the word and I shall be healed. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. God of truth, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with you and those whom you love, whatever they may be now and always. Amen. But before I end the service, just a couple of things. I'm just going to read you a short poem, a short Christmas poem. Room in the Inn. How much different would things have been if maybe there had been room in the inn? No hay, no manger, no beasts, no stall. Rather, plenty of beds and blankets for all. Not a proprietor in his right mind would allow all those shepherds, the filthiest kind, to enter the doors of his establishment, not even the ones who by angels were sent. And the star overhead, no matter the beam, through walls made of mud would not have been seen. No bleating of lamb, no cooing of bird, would songs of the angels have even been heard. Maybe the kings would have been turned away, foreigners weren't welcome in that place or that day. Don't blame the innkeepers doing their jobs. How could they know it was the Son of God? Like the rest of his life, it was part of the plan. A humble birth, a humble man. Yes, it happened as it should have been. No place to stay, no room at the inn. And there's one other thing that we usually do in our Christmas services, and I'm going to do it today. Jesus' birthday, so we've got a cake. So I'm going to light the candle so that we can sing happy birthday to Jesus. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jesus, happy birthday to you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, in the name of Christ. <laughs> 